Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is lesson 434. Uh, today we're going to look at the difference between interpret and translate. Okay, let's look at the two. Uh, both interpret and translate require that uh, someone changes the words from one language to another. However, interpreting and translating have many differences and require different skills. All right, let's continue. Professional interpreters who work for the UN or are hired privately by people or organizations claim they are insulted uh, if one claims they are a translator. They consider interpreting to be much harder, requiring more skills and pressure. Most interpreting is done orally, so most of it's spoken. So as somebody's speaking, they have to they have to say what they mean directly, right there, very quickly. Uh, so I guess most more translating or most translating is actually done, you know, but in the written form. So it's a big difference right there. Uh, so the speaker must respond immediately. They must answer on the spot, as we say, you know, uh, and they do not have the luxury of checking resources, reference books, etc. So they can't pull out a dictionary or an encyclopedia or any book on a culture or anything like that. They just have to answer immediately, right there and right then. Mm -hmm. Okay. They must be quick-minded and um, uh, a small mistake could cause a lot of uh, trouble maybe or a lot of embarrassment and maybe even offense depending upon the mistake. Okay. Uh, interpreting also requires one to be familiar with the culture. Yeah, you know, if you are a translator, you don't have to be that way, or you have time to look something up if it, if it needs it. But, you know, um, being an interpreter, you have to know it already. You have to be familiar with it. So that would help you. A lot of things that's directly connected to the culture that you have to know about as well. All right, and they also need an extensive vocabulary, knowing idioms, slangs, all of that. They, they need to know it. They need to have it in their head. Okay, let's continue. Translators, although they have a lot of time and have the freedom, uh, you know, to check reference books, uh, they usually require one skill that interpreters don't need or don't have to have. Uh, a translator must have a good writing skill. Uh, not everyone has this ability. You'd be surprised. A lot of people try to write and, you know, it takes time to be a good writer. Okay. Uh, which is why many celebrities hire ghostwriters to write their books for them. Even ex-politicians, they usually, they're probably not the ones sitting down in front of a, a typewriter or keyboard and actually typing out their their life story or their biography or autobiography, uh, they usually hire somebody to do that for them that has much better writing skill. Okay, good. Yeah, and, and a long time ago, I remember we covered that noun phrase of a ghostwriter. Yes. So they're, they're the ones that really write it, but their name doesn't get on the book. The other person's name gets on the book. All right, let's continue. Uh, we say, um, hmm. Uh, the government will, all right, so we got two examples here to give. Uh, the government will provide interpreters for the president on all his trips. Yeah, so, of course, again, in especially in politics, uh, they visit a lot of countries, a lot of different languages. They definitely need interpreters, and they have to be very skilled. Uh, or we say here, the entire Bible has been translated into over... 600 languages and if you were including just parts of the bible be, the number would be much much higher than that um, okay anyway i hope you got it uh i hope it's clear i hope you have a much better understanding now of how we would use you know to translate or translator you know for the the noun or you know to interpret or interpreter um okay anyway i hope you got it hope it was informative thank you for your time bye bye